Okay, so in this episode of Gav Details, uh, since it's winter in the Midwest, it's about, I don't know, five degrees outside, and uh, another snowstorm is on the way, uh, I figured I would start a small series of showing what I use. So Pan the Organizer and the Rag Company did uh, a series of videos together that discussed everything you need to know about microfiber towels. So I plan to show what towels I use and for what purpose. So uh, when you think about detailing a vehicle, you think about uh, washing probably would be your first your first thought and in most cases other than doing wheels and tires first it is your first step so why not talk about wash mitts first. So uh, I have a bunch of different selections on the table here so I'll go through them uh, hopefully quickly. So first off here we have this uh, lavender colored mitt which is from uh, autogeek.net this is their super plush micro chanel wash mitt and it does state that the uh, this mitt has 40 percent larger microfiber fingers than their standard micro chanel mitt so um, the fingers are about one inch long. This mitt has been uh, used a couple times and then washed and then air dried. So I'm not overly concerned that you can kind of see the backing through them. Um, it's very soft. It has a, a soft cuff. If you are the type of person that uses your hand inside of the mitt, uh, it has a double stitched liner. Uh, very soft, easy to get your hand in and out of, and then easy to rotate on your wrist. So, um, I wanted to color coordinate my mitts. So, since the car is purple, I actually purchased the next mitt that I'm going to show you, which is this one over here, which looks to be not exactly purple, but um, you get the point. Uh, I wanted to try something out from Chemical Guys, and this is their Big Mofo. Now, I did a video on this mitt alone. As you can see, it is gigantic. It is 12 by 12, and to be honest, even with having a full-size truck, I don't see the purpose, um, in all honesty. Uh, the fingers are actually an inch and a half long um, again has a soft cuff and a sewn liner um, this is more felt like it's soft versus some of the other mitts um, it looks a little bit more like mesh so um, using the two bucket method and a five gallon bucket worth of water this mitt soaks up several gallons of water so to use it I would say that this is probably something that's going to collect dust or I might try to find other uses for I don't plan on using this mitt uh, for any future washes on my vehicles let alone any vehicles that I may maintain uh, sticking on that same on that same subject line um, a free item that I received from Auto Geek with one of their promotional purchases was this 10 by 10 wash pad. So, uh, as you can see, it's very similar to this wash mitt here, which I'll cover next. Um, again, you can feel the thickness of the foam on the inside of this wash pad, which means it's probably going to absorb and hold a lot of water, which means it's going to be very heavy to handle. Um, and then that may be, cause difficulty if you have smaller hands or if you are a person that likes to put your hand inside of the mitt there's really nowhere for this uh, for you to grab this um, you know if you put it on the surface of a vehicle you have to be very careful because you don't want it to hit the ground so again um, this was a freebie and I haven't quite found a use for it so this and the chemical guys big mofo kind of stay off to the side 
this mitt here is also from Auto Geek. This is their Ultra Soft Microfiber Rinseless Wash Mitt. So this is specially designed to be used with a rinseless wash. So it talks about um, the open-ended fibers uh, are used to trap dirt and safely remove it from the surface. So you can see that these fibers are a little bit longer. Um, the open-ended fibers create less friction than a normal looped fiber uh, found on most towels. So less friction obviously provides a reduced chance of inducing swirl marks. So I have used this. Uh, unfortunately, you definitely should wash it after every use with a rinseless wash. Unless you're just doing light dust. Uh, the main reason why I use rinseless washes are during the winter time. And even though I take my vehicle to the do-it-yourself wash bay and rinse off all the heavy salt and caked on mess. Um, because the mitt is light colored, you can definitely still see um, you know, some dark and dirty marks for uh, as the wash goes on. So it's never a bad idea to wash your rinseless wash mitt um, each time. So to stay somewhat consistent, I will talk about uh, one other product that I purchased that I haven't used yet, but I'm looking forward to in terms of rinseless washing. And it is actually the Rag Company's Minx Royale microfiber towel. So this is a 16 by 16 uh, towel that is a premium 70 30 blend and it has a satin edge and there are no sewn on tags so you don't have to worry about it scratching um, it's 400 GSM and it is very plush very soft uh, to the touch in your hands now I was going to start using these as a uh, wash media for rinseless washing. Like I said, I watched all of the videos uh, done by Pan and the Rag Company and you can use their rags for pretty much everything across the board, whether it's removing polishes, um, waxes, sealants, rinseless washing, uh, you know, quick detailers and stuff like that this just stood out as to one of the items that they mentioned specifically to be used with rinseless washing so since you can turn the towel and have multiple sides to do multiple panels uh, you can use you know a handful of these towels and be able to wash a vehicle and not have to worry about reusing one given side now I don't find that to be uh, wasteful it's all personal preference you know Again, compared to using a mitt that was specially uh, made uh, to be used with rinseless washes. Okay, so for the final three mitts that are sitting here, I'll start on top. This is the CarPro hand wash microfiber mitt, and it only is only one-sided. There is a pocket back here for your hand. Um, there was a, a little stitch here that would kind of help keep the backing tight on your hand. Um, since this mitt has been washed a few times, Unfortunately, that uh, little bit of stitching, which is right about here, which you can't really see in the GoPro, um, has come uh, undone. So now your hand is kind of free on the inside here. But as you can see, um, I've got average sized hands and, you know, it fits and it's easy to control. Once, it, once it's wet, you know, you can kind of squeeze it and grab it. So using the two bucket method, it's easy to kind of uh, put this into your rinsing bucket and then use your other hand to just kind of agitate the surface so that you can remove uh, any of the debris or you can just kind of do one of these um, and I haven't had any problems so uh, you will also notice that this is one of uh, the only mitts that is completely white so it's easy to find debris while you're um, washing the vehicle, obviously washing from top to bottom. I actually have a microfiber Chanel mitt that I use for just the, the lower part of all vehicles just because that's where the majority of the dirt is. So there's minimal drag so you're not dragging dirt and debris across your paint creating swirls. This is safe on all surfaces. Uh, it's low maintenance, 
uh, like all the other mitts, machine washable. And uh, this has the hanging loop design to aid in air drying. So it does not hold on to a lot of water once you take it out of the washing machine. And then when you air dry it on a rack, it is usually the first mitt, uh, even compared to some of the towels, that is fully dry. Moving on to the last two mitts. These are actually going to be the new mitts that I'm going to be using. The gray one will be used on the car and the blue one will be used on the truck. Again, uh, trying to somewhat color coordinate items so that I know uh, what to use and not cross contaminate anything. But this is the eight by 10 inch Cyclone mitt from the Rag Company. Um, 70, 30 blend, 100% split microfiber. So um, as you can see here, it has a little bit larger uh, cuff area here for where it's stitched so there's actually while the cuff is is uh, narrow here to stay on your wrist the opening is actually uh, wider if you have larger hands again um, there's actually a stitching here on the inside where you can uh, place your fingers on either side of it which helps you know uh, with some control the inside is stitched and it's uh, thick and very comfortable. Uh, the fibers are very soft. So this one, for whatever reason, has the Rag Company logo. I'm not sure why this one doesn't, but that's no big deal. Um, so while I wanted this to be a short video, it's actually going to end up being close to 10 minutes. So if you've watched the entire video, I appreciate it. Um, it's difficult to try and provide informed videos and keep it short. So um, I'm going to break up the towel videos into very specific towels. So I'll show you what I use to specifically remove um, polish, what I use to remove uh, waxes and sealants, uh, what I use as all-purpose towels, uh, towels to remove ceramic coatings. I'll break those up. Uh, individually so that hopefully the videos are five minutes or less so for a quick but hopefully informative video on wash mitts if you like the video give it a thumbs up and for more detailing videos please hit the subscribe button thanks